Did you know that more people die in car accidents wearing a seatbelt than not wearing a seatbelt? This must mean that not wearing a seatbelt is safer, right? This is an example of the base rate fallacy. We know based on the data that wearing a seatbelt greatly reduces the risk. However, there are more cases of people dying in car accidents wearing seatbelts because more people are wearing seatbelts than not wearing seatbelts while driving or as a passenger in a car. Now this example might be obvious to you because you're familiar with the safety of wearing a seatbelt. However, with topics you might not be as familiar with, you need to be aware of this fallacy because it is used quite often. So in that last video, this dietitian was talking about unpasteurized milk versus pasteurized milk, specifically talking about pregnant individuals and downplaying the risk of unpasteurized milk. She used this data showing that in a report from years 2009 to 2011, pasteurized cheese, not raw milk, was the culprit of all outbreaks linked to dairy except one. So with this little tidbit of data, you might actually come away thinking that wow, unpasteurized milk might actually be safer than pasteurized. All right, so there are other fallacies going on here in addition to the base rate fallacy. Obviously, this is cherry-picked data, only picking data between 2009 and 2011, and only looking at listeria cases and not all foodborne illness cases. The base rate fallacy here is occurring because this person is not taking into account all of the relevant data to assess risk. Because like that seatbelt example, a much lower percentage of the population is consuming unpasteurized milk versus pasteurized milk. You can't simply just look at the number of cases and determine which one is riskier. All right, so what do we see when we look at more up-to-date data and we look at all different foodborne illnesses, not just listeria, in relation to unpasteurized milk and cheese? All right, so this is looking at outbreak-related illnesses and hospitalizations caused by the consumption of cow's milk and cheese contaminated with not just listeria, but all of these other things as well. So taking the base rate into account, unpasteurized milk is consumed by only 3.2% of the population, cheese consumed by only 1.6% of the population. Yet they caused 96% of illnesses caused by contaminated dairy products. So this study found that unpasteurized dairy products cause 8 140 times more illnesses and 45 times more hospitalizations than pasteurized products. So imagine a registered dietitian cherry picking data using the base rate fallacy to make pregnant individuals think that unpasteurized dairy could be as safe or even safer than pasteurized when the data actually shows this. Keep in mind also these cases are underreported and high risk groups are being told not to consume unpasteurized dairy. So those groups are probably consuming it at a lower rate than the general population. So if that were to increase, these things would also increase. A doubling in the consumption of unpasteurized milk or cheese could increase outbreak related illnesses by 96%. The data is very clear that pasteurized milk is much safer, especially for pregnant individuals that are at an even higher risk. 